Tip number 189 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. Let's do that again. There we are, 501 Contractor Tips. If you don't have the book and you've been in business for less than 10 years, you're thinking about getting into the construction business as a contractor, or you're just starting out as a contractor, I, I, I practically guarantee you're going to find something in this book that you either haven't thought of, or something that would be useful to your company that you're not currently doing right now. Tip number 189, can the state raise your unemployment tax rate? Yes, they can. They can also lower the tax rate. And I believe I mentioned this earlier in, uh, in another one of the videos. <clears throat> if you have people sucking out of this account, um, basically what you do is you pay money into an account, the, uh, whoever's in charge of your unemployment, tax money, the money you're paying in, this stays in a pool, not all of it. When this pool gets full, full the money doesn't just keep piling in there. It just, you're just paying it in there. But, um, and, and things might have changed, but that's how I remember it, you know, and I don't even remember what these numbers were. I either had a 3.4 or a 5.4% um, unemployment rate, I remember, uh, that I paid on top of the gross income. And remember, this, this money is paid on the gross income unless things have changed, not the net income. I'm not saying things won't change in the future or haven't changed already. Um, I believe the last employees I hired was in the year 2003. I think it was the last time I did uh, any work with employees. And uh, I had my enough problem fill. I probably already mentioned that in 20 other videos. But I'm not saying that's going to be the case for you. You just need to make sure that your unemployment um, insurance rate, the taxes you're going to be paying, doesn't get out of control. And I think one of the best ways you're going to be able to do that will be hiring people that, that are qualified, uh, people with experience who aren't going to be going on unemployment. If you hire a bunch of people who, you know, they might be uh, minimum wage laborers, something like that. You know, these might be people who are looking to work for a few months and then draw on employment. And you're going to have to watch out for that, too. I actually know a guy, actually it was a guy who worked for me, um, and his wife hired a lady, and this lady worked for like 13 weeks and then quit. Was was her best, best employee she ever had. She thought, man, this is going to be great. She worked for the minimum amount of time that she needed and then she could, she could draw unemployment again and then she quit and went back. And I guess she, I, I, well, I don't know what the scam was they were doing back then. She took like six months off. Then she would go find another job. And uh, construction business, trust me, there, it's, it's, uh, there are a lot of people that you might consider low lowlifes and uh, this business is full of them. You know, you need a laborer for a day. Can this guy move? You're hired. These are the people that could end up sucking these accounts dry and raising your rates. So think about that as you hire these people. Don't get in. I mean, the worst thing you could have happen to you is um, have something happen, blindside you. You didn't see it coming and then have to deal with it. And this could actually be one of those situations. So if you are all currently having problems with employees drawing out of your unemployment account or your um, uh, or you've paid into it and it's getting drained a little bit, something like that. Just look back at some of the employees you've hired and see if there are minor adjustments you can make in your hiring process that might eliminate um, something like this from happening. Because once these rates go, you know, you think about three to five percent, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money that you, the employer, has to pay. If you double that, um, or even you just uh, uh, add 50% to it, you know, if you're paying 5% right now and you add 50% and now you're paying 7.5%, that's 50%. If you don't understand that, you're going to have to do a little math. Um, uh, maybe go back to school and learn how to do better math and percentages because when it into money, you tell anybody who, who understands anything about money that you just got something raised 50%, that might give them a heart attack. And, if, and, and you must understand that. It's, it might be a small amount, 2.5%. 2.5% on $100,000 is going to be 
$1,500. So if you're running hundreds of thousand dollars through your business, uh, this is going to be a lot more money. So keep that in mind. Okay, that's it. I'll probably beat this one to death. Off to the next video.